So when you're whip stitching two pieces together, the most important thing is that both pieces need to have the same number of stitches on them. So each of these pieces has eight stitches. So I'm going to take my tapestry needle and thread it with the yarn tail of one of the pieces and use this to whip stitch the pieces together. So I'm going to line up stitch number one on my blue piece with stitch number one on my orange piece. And notice how I put my needle in or under both horizontal Vs of both pieces from the bottom up. And I'm always going to be going in this direction. So I'm going to find the next pair of stitches. I'm looking for the next horizontal V on my blue piece and the next horizontal V on my orange piece and pulling my needle through both of those and pulling it tight. And I'm going to just repeat this with every single pair down the line until I've done it eight times because I know that I've got eight stitches. And each time I'm going to pull super tight to make sure that this seam that I'm making is nice and secure. I'll meet you at the end. All right, this is what it looks like when you've completely whip stitched a seam together. The yarn connecting the two pieces is nice and consistent and always going in the same direction because I constantly moved my needle from the bottom to the top of the piece. 